before I go on to that, I just want to, I just want to emphasize to you, I don't sit at home making this stuff up. Right, I've, got, um, I've got an extract from a, a banker's report on a uh, business which is well known in the UK. So here we go, we've got an investment banker, he's not sitting at home, he's sitting in his office, and what he's doing is trying to value this business, and uh, if you take the time to look at the business, he's looking at a few other multiples for other retailers trying to value the business that we've got here. Okay, so this is what your bankers have to do. And they look at the multiples that the businesses are trading on, and then they make a judgment about, in this case, it's a business called Boots, and they decide what they think Boots should be valued at. Alright, so don't sit at home making this stuff up. Don't worry too much about the detail. Can I just ask you, hang on, if you were recreating this spreadsheet, let me get it up on the screen actually, and I can point to it. If you were recreating this spreadsheet, working as an investment banker, this is what you'd have to do. And it's probably at this point that law seems like the right option. Can I rotate this? Does anybody sitting there knowing how I rotate this? View? Thank you. Rotate view. Thank you. Clockwise. Right, and I'm going to zoom it up a bit so you can see where I'm pointing to. Right, so what he's done is he's put a spreadsheet together with a whole lot of uh, well-known, but not uh, just UK retailers, they're European as well. And some of the columns in his spreadsheet here are inputs. Some of them are inputs. So, for example, he's got uh, enterprise, you see his ca calculated enterprise value, and he's got this thing called market cap. Market cap, you might be able to guess, is something that you can guess from the stock market, and that's the <coughs> shares value. No prices for guessing to go from here to here. What he's done is he's added the, the net debt to those businesses. To get from here to here, he's added the net, net debt. He has gone from right to left to create this enterprise value column here. Right, now the one I just want you to focus on, just to prove that I don't sit at home making this stuff up, do you see what he's done? He's taken a selection in the next three columns of different kinds of multiples. Right, now I said to you the most important one, probably for a banker, is the one that involves EBITDA. That's the one they're going to concentrate on the most, and that's probably why he's put it right here. But they don't just look at that, they'll look at a few other multiples as well. So the point for you is, this is what bankers really do, value businesses as multiples of earnings. You can see from that work, it's very, very important to them. Don't worry about the detail, it's just to illustrate the point.